Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dustin. Welcome back to another Listening Room album review. Uh, today we want to talk about a solo instrumental guitar album from uh, legendary guitar virtuoso. He's played with everybody from Alice Cooper to Dokken, a founding member of Winger, current member of White Snake. Talking about Reb Beach. His new solo instrumental album released November 6th on Frontiers Records. It's called A View from the Inside. And um, this is just a great guitar album, man. If you're, uh, if you're a fan of instrumental rock-based guitar music, this is just a, a killer release. Um, shows a lot of versatility in Rev's playing. It's not just a, a shred fest from beginning to end. There definitely are moments of that, but... Um, Definitely, you know, the record has its funky moments, it has its proggy moments, and um, just really, really good stuff. Um, the record actually kicks off with uh, Black Magic 2020, and um, it's actually a, a song that, that Reb has had in his live sets and in the guitar clinics that he's done for years and years, and um, it's actually finally getting a proper studio recorded release and uh that's where the the 2020 comes in if you see that black magic 2020 that's the 2020 part another jam that uh made its way onto the album is um uh, something that rev's been playing called get out and walk and actually appears on this album as track number two um retitled little robots and um the tempo definitely slows down for this one. The bass really prominent on this song. Bass on this album, for the most part, Philip Bino. I'm probably pronouncing that name wrong. I'm sorry about that if I am. But um, he has played with uh, Slash. He's played with Steve Vai. And um, just really does some fantastic bass work on on this record. Like, uh, like I mentioned on the track, Little Robots. Um... Another track on here, The Way Home, really features some uh, some great bass work as well. Um, some other tracks on here, Aurora Borealis was definitely a standout track to me. It was fantastic. It just has this really grand, epic, kind of soaring feel to it. And really, really melodic playing from Reb on this one. Um, definitely, a, de definitely a lot of melody that makes up for the lack of vocals you know the, the the lack of vocals is is definitely you know whether you're into instrumental guitar music um you know that it you shouldn't shouldn't find a problem with the lack of vocals rebs rebs playing more than makes up for it and his playing almost is is like lyrical in the sense that you know the songs can have verses and choruses without necessarily having lyrics to them and aurora borealis is definitely um, one of those examples, um, Hawk Dance, super proggy track, bouncing back and forth between the guitar work, the keyboard work, and, um, drum work on this album, David Throckmorton does a fantastic job, and, um, yeah, man, if you're into, uh, if you're a fan of stuff like Steve Vai or Joe Satriani, especially, maybe, um, some like Marty Friedman's solo work, if you've heard any of that stuff it's fantastic if you haven't heard any of marty friedman's solo instrumental records i highly recommend especially the album scenes fantastic but i digress red beach this is a really great record man there's a reb looking cool on the back right there and uh yeah man so if you're a fan of stuff like that satriani steve Vai, give this one a listen it's been out for a couple of weeks and uh I think you will find so definitely find some stuff here to enjoy. If you guys are just watching for the first time, leave a comment. Let me know if you've heard this album. Let me know what you thought of it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time.